Uh, welcome to another project in Cal's barn. I have a Harbor Freight welding table. A lot of you people out there may have the same or similar table. This one's 20 inches by 30 inches. The big problem with it is it has these slots that are an inch wide and about 23 inches long. And I am constantly having tools and parts dropping through the slots. So I wanted to put a top on it stop that from happening. I wanted the top bolted down securely so that it doesn't move around, but I want to be able to take it off also. So I don't want to weld it to the top. So I went to the local steel supplier and he had some 14 gauge remnant steel. So I paid less than half the price for it. And they cut it for me to 20 inches by 31 inches. I'm leaving an extra inch stick out here for the ground strap. I get tired of reaching underneath to get to the ground strap attached to there. So now I'll be able to just clip it on the edge here. Once I got this, I put it on here on the table where I want it positioned, went underneath and marked this slot on here with a marker and determined that if I put holes in this like they normally have for a welding table, I think those tables normally have a four inch spacing between the holes. That doesn't work out very well on this table without modifying this part of the table. So I don't want to modify that. So five inches between holes works out pretty well. So I've set this up and marked it for five inch holes. And then between those positions, I've mounted this nut and I've started another one over here. That nut will be on the bottom and I'll bolt it from the bottom into that nut. In order to put the nut on there, I first cleaned off the mill scale here with my polycarbide grinding disc. That works really well for cleaning off mill scale. It works a lot better than a wire brush, works a lot better than uh, sandpaper. So I cleaned that off and I also went over to my bench grinder and I just lightly ground the washer surface and the nut sides so that there was no plating on there anymore to make the weld better. The weld is kind of ugly over here, but it works. On this side, when I welded these two washers on, I tried to get a nicer weld, and I forgot that in the process of doing that, I've welded too close to the center and now the nut won't fit. So I'm gonna to have to grind off and file off some of that weld. What I did when I, Put these to on here in order to make sure I got full thread engagement on this nut I put two washers underneath it and that gives me a little extra space but I made sure that it wasn't too much because when I put the bolt on it has to bolt up against the bottom of this this flange here is one uh, one half inch so I had to make sure that this nut is less than a half inch from this surface then what I'm thinking I'm going to do is put at least two holes for mounting my shrinker and stretcher. And I'm gonna put 5 8 holes because that's the typical size that's used for welding table clamps. Another issue I ran into was clamping those washers down and the nut. The smaller clamps wouldn't reach far enough for me to clamp that down to weld it. And those little washers, boy, you just touch this thing and they move. So I wanted to clamp them down before I welded them. So I went to the longer clamp. The problem with the longer clamp is that after you get it clamped, if you take, you clamp it down and then let go, it drops down and it pulls everything out of position. So I found this approximately two and a half inch piece of wood and I can put that in there clamp it down and now the clamp doesn't move and then when I welded this nut I put the bolt in there and then clamped like this but I clamped on the bolt so that I wouldn't have the clamp be in the way of my weld or weld my clamp to the nut and as you can see it hasn't affected the threads at all. The point I missed earlier when I marked these initially I did that you know, before taking the mill scale off. So I put a center punch in there 
And now, after I grind the mill scale off, the center punch will still be there and I can, I know where my centers are without having to remark it. So here's the finished welding table top, or at least finished for now, as much as I'm going to do for now. As you can see, I painted uh, with primer the five places where there was bare metal, so I didn't want that to rust too quickly. And the rest, this is the bottom side, so I'm just going to leave that with the mill scale on it, which should keep it from rusting. I made four washers. I made uh, this leg just is from what the scrap piece was that I had, and then I cut them to an inch and a half so that they will span the sides of the slots there. And I needed half inch bolts, five sixteenths half inch long bolts. So those are all set. I have tried it and they fit nicely and pull it down nicely. And let me set these aside. So when this goes on, on this way, there's my two holes here for mounting my shrinker and my stretcher. This side, I may have to take the mill scale off. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure about getting a good ground through the mill scale. And I did round just slightly these edges so they weren't quite as sharp, and I rounded the corners. This one I couldn't round as much because it was so close to the uh, cable underneath. But these I put, I don't know, 3 8 inch radius on them and just to protect myself from getting poked with a sharp corner when I'm not paying enough attention. So that should do the job for me. It'll keep me from dropping things through the slots. I've never used the slots for clamping anything. So they've been totally useless for, as far as I'm concerned, other than giving strength to the table. So if I need the slots in the future, this is removable. I'll just take it off and use the slots. But uh, if it really gets to be an issue, I may drill the additional holes in here and drill these out and have uh, well make up some welding clamps to use in those. All right, the tabletop is done and attached, but after thinking about it for a day or two, I realized if I don't drill the holes in here now for the welding clamps, it'll probably never get done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. What I've done is I had this on here, I marked the bottom side. Where the slots are and I've marked here where the holes need to go this way and I'll put it down and I've already marked these over here. I took my large dividers, set up that distance and pushed this up against the rail here and came across here to get those in a nice straight line and then I'll do the same thing on these sides this I've already marked those so I've verified that yes this will reach across and they can do all three of them that way to make sure that they're nice and straight and parallel to each other and then I'll do the same thing from this side but I can only go to the center so I will either have to then measure from the center over to these other two or from this side and I checked and these two are very parallel to each other so I can come from this side if necessary. But anyway that's how I'm going to mark the holes then I will add uh, instead of nuts that I had talked about adding I'm going to take some quarter inch flat stock that I have and weld quarter inch flat stock on the bottom side that will stay within these marks for the width because it has to fit into the grooves for these grooves in a tabletop. So let me start with that and see how it turns out. Well before I hardly even got started on this I ran into at least three problems. The first thing I noticed was that this was not straight. It was bowed out about 20 thousandths here in the center. So I straightened that out Still not sure I liked that even by itself. This one was also bent about 20 thousandths. I, I presume that when they bend this, somehow it warps that slightly. 
but also these two are not square so I noticed that from this piece of metal that they cut at the metal supplier and they did a pretty darn good job of keeping everything square there so I put my rafter square up here and that confirms that these are not square so when I mark these I'm gonna to have to I can now use this side and I'll double check my set my marks here but I may end up even putting this down here and running from this edge and similarly over here I'm gonna to have to yep there's enough room I'm gonna to have to run it this way keep this up tight against here and measure then from this edge over that'll keep everything nice and square it's not a big deal if all you're doing is clamping but if you want to use these holes for positioning things which sometimes they do as well I don't know if I ever will but I'm gonna set them up that way just in case never know what I'm gonna run into in the future the other thing I realized is I'm marking on the wrong side definitely that's the way it's gonna have to be turn it this way get the center of that hole come across same thing with this one and then halfway between them should be the holes uh, in the middle so a few corrections even before I get started and here's a tip for those of you who are getting older like I am when I'm center punching this I found that actually putting on a second pair of in this case reading glasses and using a flashlight I can get a much better center on there much easier to get that correct when I'm just using my regular glasses and no extra light I was having a hard time getting it right on the cross marks so I marked my holes drilled 16th inch pilot holes I'm really happy with the result I've put three 16th inch drills in there these are broken drills that I've just kept around for just things like this and the worst alignment is probably this one right here you can see it's not quite up against that rafter square and uh, the rest are really quite good and they're also square so I've got the square up here up tight against that and you can see those holes are right up against the rafter square and the same thing is true of the rest of the holes on here. Now there's no hole in the center because this slot in the welding table doesn't go through the center. So there's no place to put a hole there. Anyways, very happy with that so far. It's pretty good considering I did it by hand. After I got all my holes drilled, I decided that I wanted to square this side up. So I checked and it was about 40 thousandths out at this end. So I took a piece of 20 gauge uh, steel and simply made a crude washer to fit under there. And we may be a couple thousandths out now, but it's much closer than it was. And for what I'm doing here, I think it should be plenty close enough. So I cut these four pieces out that will weld on the bottom side of this for these outer four holes and when I did that I realized I don't have enough flat stock to do all of these holes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some one inch by quarter and I'm going to put longer pieces on here on these two and on this so, so that'll be one two three four long pieces the only reason I'm going to put long pieces on is I'm not sure how much support these clamps are going to need with this relatively thin top cover I'm not sure if putting a clamp on here is going to want to twist these outer ones but I can't go longer on the outer ones because the attaching nuts that attach this top table to the original welding table are right here so I can only put relatively short ones on these and I'll put longer ones on the ones where I don't have to get uh, interference from the attaching nuts. All right, I went out and I got a four foot piece of quarter inch by one inch flat stock, 
cut that the two long pieces for these two shorter pieces for these here and I've got the four pieces for these corners one thing I had to do with those these have 16th inch holes in them uh, just for alignment and these had 7 16 holes in them already so I had to drill these out to 7 16 so that I can position them squarely over that hole for drilling out to 5 8 so that was one mistake I made with drilling those larger holes in the first place but then I'm thinking how do I weld these on and get them exactly in the right spot then I realized well I could flip the table over so to do that I attached this on it then I'm going to flip it over and just set these between the slots on the original table problem is I did that and then realized I can't take the top off until I undo the screws that hold the, the main table down to the crossbars underneath so I had to take it all back off again take the four screws out that hold the main table down and then reattach this piece up snug to these uh, edge pieces so now I'm going to flip that over now I can set my pieces in I'll have to do a little cleanup but those will sit in there the longer ones will sit in there I may have to take these off one at a time to access it for welding because these are fairly long they, they my big washers get in the way but that'll work and that way I will be certain that these pieces fit within the slots and I will just weld the ends. So I should be all set to weld. I get a little clean up and weld it, and we'll be good to go. So my quarter inch thick strips are now welded in. Definitely need to be clamped. This one, I welded these two before taking this out, and I did not clamp it. As a result, this end lifted up, and I had to clamp it down. It took a lot of force to clamp the thing down enough to uh, make that weld. And the rest of these went pretty well because I clamped them all. They should be pretty thoroughly connected now. I did take off one at a time these attachment washers to hold the top and the, and the new top and the original welding table together. I didn't want it to move. So I made sure I never took more than one off. Put the other one on before I take a, another one off. So that's all set. I'm, this hole lined up well. I used a bolt with a, a thread that just barely fits in there. In fact, it doesn't actually go down all the way. And that lined it up very nicely so I can finish drilling that out. And that's going to be my next step. Drill all of these holes out and clean things up before I paint it. I made a mistake. When I drilled these holes, I had not welded these centers of these two long strips down and the result was that when I drilled through it pushed through and I had burrs and pieces of metal caught between the sheet metal and this piece. So if you do it, figure out where your holes are and tack weld it. After I tack welded it, I had to come out and take my grinder and take a little bit of that weld off to make sure it fit in the slot without hitting anything. But tack weld that down so that those don't separate when you do the drilling. Well, this welding tabletop is done. I did have a problem. I tried to drill pilot holes in through the quarter inch material with a 16th inch drill. That was a big mistake because I broke one of them off and had a terrible time then drilling around that, trying to get that out and then get that hole centered again. I got it pretty well centered. I think we're okay. But it, I'll bet I wasted an hour at least trying to fix that problem. So I use a 330 seconds drill. That, that seemed to be fine. The other issue I had, I drilled out the 5 8 holes. I drilled them, drilled them out to half inch and then I used a step drill to get up to 5 8 of an inch 
And I had to come in from both sides because the steps on the step drill aren't that long. So I had to come in from both sides. Well, it didn't match up perfectly. And I ended up putting a small grinding wheel on my drill and deburring it basically, taking that little step in the middle out until the 5 eighths would drop through there. So that is all set. I did try this out on the end here where the, I've got the smallest or this corner where I have the small pieces and I was concerned that it would warp the metal but that's fairly tight and there's no warpage that I can see. So I think we're good on that. The other thing we did is I painted the backside. I used some engine paint that I had left over. It's good for 500 degrees and I figured since I'm welding on this, it might get hot, but I don't think it's ever gonna hit 500 degrees. It's not the plan anyways. I just didn't want it rusting because this is plain steel. The other thing I did was I put some masking tape down here and I left this lip that hangs over for grounding. I left that unpainted. Uh, the top isn't going to be painted, but I left the bottom unpainted too there. So we're all done. As you can see, it's a nicer day out. I've opened the garage doors there. Got a little breeze coming through here today. That's kind of nice. Anyways, hopefully you guys uh, got some ideas from this. You can fix up your own welding tables, make them a little better. And the pros probably won't consider this good enough. But uh, for us homeowners, this will do the job for me. So please, like it, subscribe, leave comments, positive or negative. I'd like to hear from you, and thanks for watching.